Okay, here we are inside the Ram 1500. Now this is a four x two sport edition, uh, which means it's about the mid range as far as pricing and features. It does not have four wheel drive though, unlike the Ford, which we drove earlier. Now, the change in interior cabins is rather dramatic. The design ideology between both is extremely different. Is one better than the other? Well, in this case, I would say yes. The Dodge does have some cheap plastics and it also kind of has this like jellyfish uh, inspired curves that, that I just find a little bit too bulbous for me. Personal preference though. Let's go ahead and power it on because it's getting hot in the desert here. Oh, wait, let's, let's hear that again. <laughs> I'm sorry, was I saying something about the Ford versus the, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't even know what I was talking about. I'll tell you what I want to do though. Traction control off, drive on. Oh. oh, that sound. Does it have a Hemi? Yeah, it's got a Hemi. Now, the looks between the F-150 and the Dodge Ram are of course totally subjective. Personally, I rather like the streamlined hood of the Dodge, especially on this model with the blacked out grille. I think it looks pretty tight. The F-150 is looking pretty common these days. Although Ford looks to fix that in 2018 with a new exterior redesign. But for now, this one wins in the looks department. Now the model we're driving today does have the Hemi V8 and it is a powerful motor, 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. And that sound, oh, wanting to release under the hood. It is epic. <laughs> I don't care what you think about the F-150, it doesn't make that sound. So, mm, yeah, good job, Ram. You can also get this truck with a really cool turbo diesel. That is not yet an option in the F-150. So kudos to Ram for giving not just equal to the F-150, but actually going above and beyond in certain key areas. Though you can get this truck with either a six-speed or eight-speed automatic, the one we're driving is the eight-speed, and it's just fine. It's an automatic transmission, and it does what you want when you want, which is kind of the whole point of an automatic. Does it have cool Tiptronic shifting and all that stuff? No, no, it doesn't. But it will let you tow up to 10,500 pounds as equipped. That is what's impressive. Now, when I think of the Ram 1500, for some reason, I always think of it as a small, mid-size pickup. But in fact, this is a full-size truck. It's the same size, basically, as the Ford F-150. Now, unfortunately, the truck we have today does not have all-wheel drive. It just has two-wheel drive. But you know what? That's never stopped me from going off-road. Ha! <laughs> now, Dodge does make the Rebel, and the Rebel is their equivalent of the Ford Raptor. Now that's the one that's designed for taking jumps and basically being a, a serious off-road bro. So let's go ahead and take this up into the mountains anyway, because why not? It's a truck. I'm sure it'll be fine. So now's the time to reach a decision. Do we go with the Ford F-150, which costs about $52,000, or this, the Dodge Ram, which is about $47,000, but doesn't have all-wheel drive? Best-selling truck in America since the dawn of time? Up-and-comer, boxy, streamlined, hood snouts, really big headlights. You know, the decision is really difficult. But at least there is one important thing that you have to consider when you are shopping for a truck. There are unique differences when it comes down to very specific options. You want a turbo diesel? You gotta get the Ram. 
You can't get that with the F-150. Ford, they have Apple CarPlay. Dodge does not. Although the system built in the car is really good, no CarPlay. Sorry, I like CarPlay. So personally, which one would I go with? Oh, it's hard. I love the exhaust sound of the Ram 1500. It is just every single time I hit the throttle, I'm like, yes! The F-150. Nobody's gonna make a mistake buying an F-150. It's a great truck. They thought of everything. So I can't string you along for two episodes and not come up with a decision. So I will now make a decision. Ford F-150, Ram 1500. I can't make up my mind. 